All right, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like? Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but well, let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep, that's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try Edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data altering abilities, epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the... Something is... Something is starting to... It's... It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? Uh -huh. You've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Don't cry later! Thunder
nothing. Here's our chance! Here's our chance! This'll be quick! Here's our chance! Don't panic. That again. Course unknown, passing life form. Gym sphere, please. Oink. Oink, thank you for helping me.
You're mine! Don't panic. Here's our chance! How the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey! Huh? Let's get going! <laughs> 